Well, slim chance of a thunderstorm. By Wednesday, more thunderstorms, 91. We'll cool it off a little bit Thursday and Friday with uh, mainly isolated afternoon storms. And then by the weekend, still looks pretty good with temperatures in the mid to the upper 80s. Audrey, back to you. Thank you very much, Howard. The economic outlook might be getting brighter, but some economists say it's going to be a jobless recovery, and the pain for people who are unemployed is likely to continue through next year. D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton is joining us here now live to talk a little bit about this. Unemployment is such a big part of economic recovery. It's pretty bad out there, isn't it, nationwide? Well, and it's my major priority for the moment Congress gets back in session in September. It's uh, the so-called lagging indicator does not mean we're going to have a jobless recovery. It just means that the last thing to come back are jobs because people would rather, I don't know, put people on overtime, for example, mm -hmm. than get new employees because you get new expenses with new employees like health care, which gets into another subject. Uh, however, as cautious as the administration and the economists are, we can't help but see what's happening. Uh, everything in the housing market is improving except, I'm very unpleased to say, foreclosures. They continue to go up. They are being uh, strengthened, if you will, by the fact that people are losing jobs. And because, uh, but housing starts are up. People are beginning to buy houses. You see the economy is going out with cash for clunkers. Mm -hmm. with people getting these bad cars off the road and substituting cars that have a more mile efficiency and, and more energy conservation. Uh, but um, the district, which already has something like 10.7% unemployment, probably 11% by December, the council has just extended unemployment insurance, but what you really need is Congress to give us at least 20 more weeks. We gave 33 weeks at the beginning of the stimulus and you see how that's run out and guess what it's going to run out again because the last thing to come back is uh, employment <laughs> but there's some people in congress that are going to see to it that people are not left with at least without unemployment insurance while we wait this out are there some other things that you think congress should be doing to try to get people back to work well <laughs> we might well need another stimulus uh, the stimulus, remember, has only now be it's a two-year matter. So you, you've only had about six months for this stuff to get back into the economy. So mm -hmm. don't pay any attention to the Republicans who are saying the stimulus doesn't work. Uh, for the first six months, it's worked very well because that has been a startup period. We're going to be begin to see real effects from the stimulus within the next four or five months. How critical is it, do you think, for them to extend these unemployment benefits? What would be the impact if they didn't? Well, it's so critical that even the Republicans are going to go along with it. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to have much of a fight over that. When people are left out there without nothing, where there are six people in line for every one job, where I had 5,000 people at my uh, at my job fair just uh, this last month, everybody knows that people, it's not that people aren't looking for jobs, it's that they can't find jobs because there are no jobs yet coming back in this economy. So we have to get those benefits a little bit longer. We have to get those benefits and we have to get health care. And that is what we're going to be featuring as we go home. Uh, because what people don't really see, because it's some, it comes out of their checks, mm -hmm. but what many, many others do see is that the cost is going up so that some people are just foregoing uh, health insurance. Uh, heaven help you if you have some kind of pre-existing uh, condition. Uh, people are finding health insurance more and more unaffordable, not to mention the millions who do not even have health insurance. So that's one thing we've got to get done before the end of, of this year. It's our number one priority, of course, uh, extending health insurance. Uh, sorry, extending unemployment insurance is what we have to do within days of getting back because unemployment insurance that's out there, the federal unemployment insurance, which is the bulk of it, runs out uh, in, in near the end of September. Now, we know that's one of your favorite projects, but so are D.C. voting rights. Is there any news that you can share with our viewers since we've got you here to talk about D.C. voting rights? Anything? anything yes, I'm new? having to do it the hard way. Uh, they, they, they tried to plaster a, a very lethal gun amendment on D.C. voting rights. And I thought when they could get the votes, they took four months, couldn't get the votes. I said, wait a minute, before I say go with this, with this huge wipeout of all D.C. gun laws, a big city with no D.C. gun laws, before we say that, 
Let me do some more due diligence, and I am very pleased that the Speaker of the House has been working closely with me.